it's been a while since the movie's come out. Two weeks, I think, since the movie came out. So the hype, the big ah, movie event thing, that whole wave of enthusiasm is kind of dropping off now. A bit more opportunity to see things a little bit more clearly. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. Despite having this enormous cast of characters, it doesn't feel that scattered. They managed to, to, to compartmentalize the stories in a very, uh, not a unique way, just an interesting way. Quick summary of what I thought about this movie. The, the gist of it is that I think it's, it's a really cool and fun movie that I just didn't enjoy that much. It shames me to say it, but um, everybody's still sort of on board with the superhero thing but I'm starting to feel a little bit, just a little bit fatigued. They've been dominating the cinema circuits for such a long time now. And it's every year, it's this new hype, this new everything about, I still think these movies can be good. I still think they can be fun and a lot of people will still enjoy them. My enthusiasm is almost completely tapered off for these movies. That's the gist of it. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. People tend to criticize the humor in the superhero movies a lot. Actually, the, the seriousness of the, the movie became kind of dull to me, and I started getting a little bit bored with the actual plot of the movie, and the only thing that sort of kept me engaged <laughs> were the occasional little quips here and there. So I actually really appreciated the humor in this movie and I think Marvel's tending to get a lot better at the way that they mix the humor and the seriousness of, in their movies. Aside from the humor, it was just a, a really fun experience. So the story arc with Iron Man was great. The story arc with Thor and Rocket Raccoon I think was maybe my favorite story arc. That was goofy and weird. But the story with Vision and I've forgotten that lady's name with the red powers. Yeah, by far the weakest point of the movie was that little silly bit of, bit of story. It ended up being almost the most important part of the story and that was to the movie's detriment for sure. People are going on quite a lot, have been going on quite a lot about Thanos as a character. And he is a very good character as far as villains go. Definitely one of the best. The stuff that was bad it was little things that kind of bugged me, that like bummed me out a little bit. Like Iron Man's suit flows over his face like, like goop and goes into place and that was like... I hope they remember you. The fact that it's a cinematic universe works in this movie's favor a lot because it provides a lot of context. But not all of those movies were good. For me, one of the worst was Age of Ultron, right? I hated Age of Ultron, it was so dull. And when, when they're referencing all of the other movies, it takes you out of this movie for a second. Remember that thing that happened in that movie that you hated? And you go, oh yeah, I remember. And that steals a little bit from this movie every time it happens. The one thing that I did like in Age of Ultron, there was one scene that I really enjoyed. And it was the most dumb, fun action scene in the movie. It was like, there was no character development, none of that stuff. It was just that crazy ass scene. It was actually shot here in South Africa. The fight scene between uh, Hulk and Iron Man with that massive Hulkbuster suit. That was fun, you know? That's the, the kind of fun that I want to get out of these movies. That kind of crazy, schlocky fun. That suit comes back. Turns out that suit is, is manned by Bruce Banner in this movie. That suit does f all. He just runs around in that suit and he gets constantly beat up. It gets swarmed up with creatures Basically, none of the powers get used. The coolest thing that suit does is like jump from one place to another. I wanted to see something cool happen with that suit. I wanted that suit to fight against Thanos. And it actually leads into, into another point, which is this, this sort of variable power thing. I don't, I don't mean to analyze it too heavily, but like if Thanos punches Hulk and it like messes Hulk up, but then he punches Spider-Man and it doesn't do that much damage to Spider-Man, makes it a little bit unclear how strong each character is. You're supposed to take Thanos seriously as a super strong villain, but you can't really gauge how strong he is 
It's like this variable power issue. So the ending. This is the thing that's made people go, oh! because it's just so impactful. For the first time, a lot of people really don't know what's gonna happen, which is maybe a little disingenuous. <laughs> people felt as though they didn't know what was gonna happen. It seems like something crazy and gigantic has happened, and that's to the movie's credit. It really sells what happens at the end. Oh, okay, well, Obviously they're gonna come back, and we know how they're gonna come back. It either has something to do with the soul stone, but my, my guess would be that, that time stone, and they show you what's gonna happen. So Thanos, he goes blah, 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 and he reverses time, and Vision comes back, and he takes the stone. He's got the time stone, he's got this reality stone, and the possibility is there for, <laughs> for all of these heroes to come back. So they've gone, but it, doesn't mean anything because as basically is infamous with comics, the death is meaningless. Death is just meaningless. So like, that's what it seems like to me. But I would, I would be very surprised and very impressed if they stuck with that. If they really stuck, if they stuck with that decision to keep these, this, this as the ending and that the characters who died are really dead. I wouldn't bet on it. That's actually a pretty good natural segue. The superhero fatigue. I've started to really feel the fatigue I don't want to be pretentious about that. I know a lot of people love these movies. I've loved these movies in the past. And I'm not trying to be one of those guys who's like, I'm too good for superhero movies, you know? F*** that. These things have been fun. After the next movie, I, I don't know how they're gonna be able to make these movies interesting anymore. It's gotten as epic as it can get, right? And it can maintain that level of, of epicness for maybe one more movie. And I don't know how, how they're gonna keep it interesting after that. That's sort of my layman's perspective on that thing. So that's about it for my thoughts on this movie. I think it's a very good movie. It's extremely skillfully done. It's fun, it's exciting. It's just getting a little bit old. And that's just for me. For you, this might be an endless well of entertainment and intrigue and interest, especially if you're into comic books. If you're one of those people who's just been a comic book fan their whole life, you could probably stick with this forever. But for me, I feel like I could use a little bit of change of scene in, in the movies. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Let me know if you, if you disagree with me, if you think I'm stupid, if I'm interpreting this all wrong. Um, just let me know what you think. This is a two-way conversation. I mean, it's a one-way conversation because you can't talk to me. But you can talk in the comments. Or send me things on Stardust. Maybe I'll include it in my next video or something. It's at how to watch movie. No S. This long video, when I make these things, is literally just me trying to figure out why do I feel this way about this movie? Is it maybe because I have some biases? It could be. But it's worth going through trying to understand the movie to figure out why I feel this way about the movie. That's the whole point of making movie reviews, I guess. Death is meaningless. Death is just meaningless.